Welcome to this overview demonstration of the Softec Autodesk Inventor Connector for Aris Innovator. The Softec Connector seamlessly manages and tracks the hierarchical relationships between inventor parts, assemblies, and drawings, along with any associated bills of materials. This allows for easy searching, review, and utilization of your inventor documents and related part items within the Aris Innovator PLM system such as attaching them to an ECO workflow as shown here. Moving over to Inventor, you can access the main connector functions from right within the Inventor user interface. Selecting Retrieve brings up the search screen, optimized for locating Inventor files stored within the Aris Innovator Vault. As I scroll through the search results, I can use the thumbnail images to quickly locate the ones I'm interested in. I'll select this assembly drawing and display it using the connector's hierarchy viewer. This main window shows a list of documents to be retrieved in both hierarchical and sortable list formats. This right hand window shows specific attribute information about the selected file including where used and previous versions listings. This lower window displays information about related files such as associated drawings or externally referenced files. Finally, I can select specific items from the hierarchy viewer and use the right mouse button context menu to choose specific operations for the files, such as checking them out or just retrieving a read-only copy. Selecting the retrieve button completes the operation and delivers the files from the vault to my local work folder along with optionally opening it in my current inventor session. I'll open the top level assembly model, select the existing rear cover part, and using the inventor component replace command, swap in this new cover design. Let's now see how the connector facilitates design data reuse by allowing you to easily locate and utilize inventor files previously stored in the vault. So this time, instead of selecting the Inventor Component Replace command, I'll select Replace from the Connector Toolbar menu. This automatically brings up the Connector Search window, and I'll do a search on any Inventor files with Prop in the name. Using the thumbnails, I can easily spot the new 4-blade design, and selecting it and completing the operation automatically retrieves the file from the Aris Innovator Vault and swaps it into my assembly for the existing two-blade prop. I'd like to now utilize one of our existing retaining nuts in my assembly. So I'll choose Insert again from the Connector Toolbar, and this again places me in the Connector Search window. I'll do a partial part number search, select this component, and now completing the operation allows me to place this component right into my assembly. As you can see, this part has several iPart instances that I can choose from. So I'll select this size, and then I'll add a couple constraints to complete the placement. I'll now complete my design changes by better securing the new rear cover with some standard machine screws. I have Inventor Content Center installed, so I'll use its browser to select the appropriate size screw. Insert the first instance of the screw into one of the new cover's existing holes. And then finally use the circular pattern command to fill the remaining holes in the cover pattern. Now that I've completed my assigned tasks as the inventor designer, I need to check in the new version of the design into Aris Innovator. I'll begin by issuing the register command opening this window which shows a list view of all the parts contained in this assembly. To assign a part number, simply select the part from the list and you can search for existing part numbers, enter them manually, or have them automatically assigned by mapping them directly from Inventor Custom I Properties or utilizing the sequence generator to automatically assign the next available sequential part number. Selecting the retaining nut, we can see that the connector also recognizes all of its existing iPart members and can assign unique part numbers and bomb part items to each one.
completing the register operation, the connector automatically prompts me and asks if I wish to store the inventor files at this time. I'll choose yes, and this displays the hierarchy view, the same one we saw when retrieving the assembly from the vault. Clicking on the list view tab allows me to sort by any column, such as operation. This allows me quickly to see which items are being checked in as new revisions, in this case the assembly drawing and model, which items are ignored by the connector because they've not been changed, and which items are being saved for the first time into Eris Innovator using my default revision and life cycle schemes. You can also see that the connector can differentiate between normal inventor part files, iFactory members, and content center components. Clicking the store button completes the operation and returns me to my inventor session. And I'm prompted one last time if I would like to optionally update the bill of material hierarchy for this design. This view displays a structured list of the items comprising the bill of materials and selecting an item displays the CAD model and drawing associated with it. That completes the inventor design update task, so I'll go back to the standard Eris Innovator web client view to show how the updated design information and all related items are now available to any users that have the appropriate permissions within the system. Going back to my in-basket, I'll open the original ECO process. Clicking on the new bill of materials shows me up-to-the-minute information about it, including a list of all the component parts. I can view this in a more readable format by displaying a custom report, such as a multi-level indented bomb. Scrolling through it verifies that this latest revision includes the new rear cover, four blade prop, retaining nut, and eight machine screws. For a comparison view, I can use the built-in structure browser, where I can compare this version of the bomb with any other bomb or a previous version of this one, as you see displayed here. Note that the connector has automatically created relationships between the inventor CAD documents and related bomb part items, and is also tracking and updating the relationship between their specific versions. We hope this brief introductory video helps you understand how Softech's Inventor Connector seamlessly integrates your organization's inventor design data with the ARIS Innovator PLM system.